Hey everybody, I'm Roy Woodhouse, your native British English teacher. Welcome back to English Right Now. Today, we're going to explore some phrasal verbs that you'll often hear and use in the pub. Now, when teaching phrasal verbs, I often find that learners retain more of the phrasal verbs I teach when they've got a kind of subject, a connected link, rather than just a list of phrasal verbs. So, for example, if you try to learn, I don't know, 10 phrasal verbs with the word get, it's just a list of words. It's no different, in my opinion, to studying in the dictionary and going a, 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 with all words connected with a, because quite often phrasal verbs, even if they share a common verb, they have a completely different meaning, which is why I like to teach phrasal verbs with a kind of connected theme. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs that you will commonly hear in a, a typical British pub. And remember, many of these phrasal verbs, they can be used in other scenarios as well. But these phrasal verbs that you're going to learn today will help you sound much more natural and confident when socialising. So let's get started. Pubs are a central part of British social life. And knowing the right phrasal verbs can make your experience even better. So number one is meet up. So meet up basically means to arrange to go somewhere with someone like a friend in order to do something together. For example, have a drink. So you're meeting with somebody you know to do something like have a drink together. So I might say to a friend, oh, let's meet up at the pub at around 7 p.m. Now, interestingly, I will say that while a lot of people do drink beer and other alcoholic drinks in the pub, some people just go there to eat and others do drink soft drinks as well. So meet up is a simple and common way to introduce the idea of planning uh, a get together with a friend. Number two is hang out. Hang out means to spend a lot of time or an extended period of time in a place or with someone. So if we're talking about spending an extended period of time with a person, we often say hang out with. So I'm going to hang out with James. I'm going to spend uh, an extended period of time, a lot of time today with James. And if we're talking about a place, we normally use the preposition at after hang out. So I'm going to hang out at the pub tonight in the pub. So you could say, oh, we're just hanging out at the pub tonight. So this phrasal verb is perfect for while you're enjoying a casual evening with your friends. I'm going to hang out with my friends at the pub on Sunday. True story. Number three is drink up. Drink up. Drink up means to finish your drink usually very quickly. So for example, maybe all of your friends have finished their drinks and somebody, and you've still got maybe, I don't know, that much of a drink left and somebody says, hey, drink up. Come on, we're leaving. So you have to drink it very, very quickly. And you will often hear this phrasal verb at the end of the night when the pub is closing. The person working behind the bar may tell you to drink up, we're closing. And if you really do want to improve your British English, I have something for you. Every Thursday here on YouTube, I teach a free live class. It's free and it is live. All you need to do to learn more and to join that class is click on the link in the description below and I will see you there. Number four is chill out, chill out. So chill out means to relax. I've come to the pub to chill out after a hard week. So as I say, chill out is perfect if you just want to say that you are relaxing, that you're here for a quiet night in the pub. Number five, in my opinion, is very important. It is top up. Now in the UK, we use top up in a couple of different ways. So the first way is to top something up. And this means to add liquid in order to fill right to the top a container that's already partly full. One way we may use this is if you're at the bar and the person pouring the pint pours, uh, pours the pint, but there is quite a bit of head on top. Now, head is that white foam that comes on top of your uh, pint of beer. If you think there's too much head, not enough drink, you might ask the, uh, the person pouring the drink to top it up, please. Could you top up my pint, please. Can you top up my pint, please? I do want to say in terms of etiquette, uh, sometimes there is a line on the glass that dictates where the pint comes. So uh, the bartender may say, no, uh, you've already got a pint. Or 
one of the worst things you can do is maybe take a sip of your drink and then ask for it to be topped up. And talking about pub etiquette, if that's something that you want to learn about, I can make a whole video about pub etiquette uh, and, and other things as well. How to act in restaurants in the UK, what to do on the train, and so on and so on. If that's something you're interested in, please do let me know in the comments. Now, another way we commonly use top up in the UK is uh, as top someone up. And this is when we put more drink into somebody's glass. So maybe you've gone round to a friend's house, you're having some wine, your friend notices that your glass is empty or almost empty, they might say to you, oh, I'll top you up. But this one is more common at a house party. I can't imagine the bartender, the landlord or landlady of the pub saying, I'll top you up. Number six is chat up. Chat up. Now, chat up means to talk to somebody in a flirtatious way, often with the intention of something happening on a romantic level. As I said, so maybe you approach somebody that you're interested in and you make a few flirtatious comments, you are chatting that person up. Like, he's over there chatting up the waitress again. But do remember, if you go to a pub, do be respectful of other people because maybe they're just going there to chill out or hang out with some friends and they're not particularly looking for the advances of another person. And as a side note, we also have something called chat up lines. Chat up lines are famous sort of lines that we say to another person that we are interested in that are a bit cheesy. Let me give you an example. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? This is a classic chat up line. I personally hate them. I think they're horrible. I don't use them, but they do exist. So you're basically saying, are you an angel? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Maybe for some people these work. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been a victim of chat up lines, or maybe you think they do work. Let me know. Now we've already talked about etiquette with the phrasal verb top up, but if somebody says, no, I'm not interested, or they don't want to sort of receive your advances, just say, oh, sorry, or just walk away. Don't persist. So do be respectful of other people's evenings and what they're doing in the pub. Some people just want that quiet pint. Number seven is catch up. Catch up means to meet and talk with someone that you haven't seen in a while and exchange news. So the pub is a great place to catch up with your friends. So you might say on the phone, it's been ages, let's catch up over a drink. Let's go to the pub. So catch up is perfect for reconnecting with friends. And number eight is come over. Come over. So come over means to move towards somebody or to join a group, to move from one place to another place to join that group. So if you see somebody, you start talking with them in the pub, which is quite common, maybe at some point you could say, why don't you come over and join us? So this is really useful to invite someone to your table or into your group. So there you have it. Eight common phrasal verbs that you can use in the pub and also in other scenarios as well. Remember, the key to mastering phrasal verbs is practice. Try to use them in sentences and pay attention to how they're used in conversations when you're out with friends. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips on learning English. Also, every Thursday, I do a live class here on YouTube. So check out the link in the description below. And please do leave a comment with your favorite phrasal verb for the pub and any questions that you have. But from me today, all I want to say is thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.